Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate everyone joining up on this fine Monday morning. We're gonna be learning a lot about the new features inside On One Photo Raw 2021 today. But for those of you who aren't familiar with On One Photo Raw 2021, we're gonna start out just by talking about what On One Photo Raw 21, 2021 can do and also some of the new features that you can use when it, it's available in October. All right, so those of you who aren't familiar with On One Photo Raw 2021, it's a powerful photo editing software that allows you to capture, organize, edit, enhance, and share your imagery. It combines the simplicity of a browser with the power of a raw processing engine, an effects and retouching section, all in a layered, non-destructive workflow that's available now on all of your devices. So these are some of the new features that are available with an on Photo Raw 2021 coming out October, but we're gonna be focusing on the landscape features today. Kind of the color range gradients, brush shapes, um, really just going in and dialing in your landscapes with all of the new features and also some of the built-in capabilities inside of Photo Raw. <clears throat> and the first thing I wanna talk about are the custom brush shapes within Photo Raw 2021, which really allow you to go in and just modify a boring sky um, and just paint in clouds into it if you like. Or if you have you know, a portrait or something that really just needs uh, a lively detail into it, you can paint those in just by using local adjustments and custom brush shapes. Today we're gonna to be using it focusing on a landscape, but keep in mind you can do this on any sort of image you like, or you can do it with composites. You can even paint on you know, creative elements onto your scene uh, just as that element in and of itself and not really enhance anything. So let's dive deep into these brush shapes real quick. I'm just gonna go into the edit module. So inside of On One Photo Raw 2021, uh, it's really easy to take your image and just start modifying it. So inside of Photo Raw 2021, you can see that I have all of the editing capabilities to the right hand and then I have my image in here. With a raw image, you can actually choose a different com a camera profile. So in these camera profiles, if I open up this menu, I have these different camera profiles I can choose and it will immediately apply that look onto my shot. So if you're familiar with camera profiles on your DSLR camera, this is a very helpful way to just bring out basic tonalities within your scene in just one click. One of my favorites here is this On One Landscape. So once I go to On One Landscape, you can see it's livening up the detail and it's making everything pop out a bit more. Well, even though I've chosen that camera profile, I can always modify any of these tones if I'd like. And because it's a raw processing engine, it, it processes all of these different tonalities in an instant. So if I wanna see you know, a slider being pulled up, I can just pull up on that slider and voila it immediately shows me that change and that adjustment without having to see any lag or wait for it to be shown. So I'm just gonna pull up on my mid-tones just a hair and that's gonna bring out these bottom grays within the scene and really make this foreground element pop out within the shot. Now I'm not gonna do too much to the shot because I think it's already pretty correctly exposed but I do wanna go down and modify a little bit of the saturation. So I'm gonna hit the backslash key on my keyboard so that we can see what we're working with before. This is our original. And now we've done this just by pulling up on our mid-tones and changing the camera profile. Well, for this shot, I'm just gonna raise up my vibrance a little bit and that's gonna bring back some of the warmth in this foreground area. And it's also gonna enhance these blues in the sky quite a bit. So already, in just a few seconds, completely revamped this landscape and brought it back to the, where we saw it when we shot the landscape in the first place. So what I wanna do now is I wanna enhance the sky a bit. Now, inside of Photo Raw 2021, we have these brush shapes that we can use to completely enhance sky areas quickly. I'm just gonna use my local adjustments tab real quick. Now, in this local adjustment, all I have to do is find a sky, or a sky element, basically a cloud, and then duplicate that color and then paint on different cloud shapes. So let's go into this local adjustment. I'm gonna choose my paint with color. And I'm just gonna grab, you know, a perfect cloud color there. A little bit whiter than that maybe. I might grab this bottom white there. There we go. So now I can use that color within this local adjustments tab to paint on different cloud shapes. So I'm gonna go up to my cloud shape menu or my, my brush shape menu rather. I'll just click on this shape menu here. And now you can see I have all of these different shapes I can use to enhance my landscapes. And you can also import any brush shapes. So if you have custom brush shapes that you like, you can actually import those into Photo Raw 2021 and apply those to your own images. I'm just gonna use a couple cloud shapes that are already built into Photo Raw. So I'm just gonna grab this cloud shape here. This looks pretty good. And I'll just make it a bit bigger with the bracket keys on my keyboard. 
And inside Photo Raw 2021, we can also modify the angle of our brushes. So if we need to rotate something, I can do that with, again, just the keyboard on my computer. So I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit like that. That looks pretty good. And I'll make it a bit smaller. And I'm basically just gonna fill in this little area here where these clouds, uh, where, it's or where it's basically just blue sky and there's no clouds. So I'm just gonna paint this in here. And I usually do two just to make sure that it's painted on. So I can see that that's painted on there and it looks pretty decent, but we need to go in and modify that local adjustment just a hair to make sure it fits our scene. So let's go, to our, go over to our local adjustments here. And I'm actually going to choose a different mode. So inside of our local adjustments, we can paint with a few different modes. We can paint with a mode that allows us to replace the color. We can paint with a mode that just paints on a color onto our scene, or we can use classic, which we can actually modify the tonalities in that local adjustment. So I'm just gonna head up, I'm gonna reset that exposure, and then I'm gonna pull up my exposure until it matches those other clouds. Probably about right, maybe about right there or so. But I can see that those clouds that I painted in are a bit blue compared to the clouds that are in the shot. So we'll just head down to our temperature and I'll modify the temperature, I'll just warm those up a bit. And I could probably pull back on that exposure actually. Just like that, maybe a little more warmth. Oh. Perfect. Sweet. So now I've dialed in that cloud to my sky. Oops, I pulled it back too much. In an instant, I've added in an interesting element to that, that sky area, and I can do the same thing with other brushes. So let's just grab another brush here. I'll grab this cloud, make sure it's level, make it a bit bigger, and then I'll just paint this on right here. So now we've painted in those cloud source sky, we've modified our develop tab. Really all we have to do now is just stylize with a preset. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we're already making a much more interesting background element and we've fixed our foreground. So now let's just stylize real quick. I'm gonna head over to my presets here. And inside of Photo Raw, it comes with all these awesome presets that you can use and just stylize your photograph in an instant. One of my favorites here is this Golden Autumn. It basically brightens up the warm colors in the scene and some of these have really stylistic looks on them. Now, with the presets in Photo Raw, you can see a thumbnail of what that look does to your shot. If you want it larger, you can just click on this icon here and it shows you a much larger preview. I'm just gonna choose this G12. It looks like a little bit glowy and softening, so that looks pretty nice. And if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, I mean, in no time at all, really, if I would've just gone in there and clicked those elements and modified those sliders, in a few seconds, we've really enhanced this landscape and we could always modify our preset settings. So if I want less of that preset applied, I can just pull back on this fade slider and that's going to remove some of that preset style that we've applied in here. So you can always fine tune that look that you've applied with the preset to the image that you're working on. Or if you wanna go in and modify any of the filters that are applied, you can always go into your effects tab and you can modify any of the filters that are applied to your shot. So this filter here, or this preset here rather, applies the sunshine filter and it's modified some of these settings in here. So if we wanna modify or add in any different filters to this preset, we can. So let's say I wanna modify a little bit of the detail. I'll just add a filter and I'll add some dynamic contrast. So now I've applied dynamic contrast and that's boosted up the detail within my scene, but it's also leaving that same preset style that we had earlier when we chose uh, that golden autumn preset. So let's set the backslash key on our keyboard. And again, in really no time at all, just liven up the landscape scene and especially that background with the sky. So if you have a boring background with just a blue sky, these custom brush shapes are awesome for going in and just adding those creative elements into it and just making them much more interesting. Okay. So Steven's asking about sky replacing inside of Photo Raw 2021. So there's a few different ways you can do sky replacing inside Photo Raw 2021. Let's just make, I was playing with this earlier and it may not be the best example, but it'll give you guys an idea of how easy it is to mask in Photo Raw. 
So with this shot, earlier I was playing around with the masking. Um, a couple different ways you could mask things out. One way I did it earlier with, was, with this shot was using a color range gradient. So with the color range gradient, it's pretty easy. All I did was I went into my masking options. I hit M on my keyboard. Oh, I went to gradient first, obviously. And then I created a color range and I dropped it on the sky. So whenever I pull this up now, it's only applying that, or it's showing the sky area, right? So let's just flip this. So that we've, you know, we're just showing the sky. And then we need to invert it, right? So that we're only showing the bottom. So let's just pull this up so we can't see any of the sky. And I mean, right there, that was pretty fast on just removing the sky area. And then we can add in, you know, a layer if we want to. Okay, so I must have deleted that photo. So I'll just go into our different folders if we're on one, our extras. And I'll just grab a sky. Oops. Backgrounds. We'll just make a really gloomy sky. There we go, that looks pretty good. So I'll drop this sky down, right? So I'll just go up here. Make sure the horizon is pretty, pretty decent. Like that. It looks like we have a little bit to clean up down here. So I'm just gonna hit B on my keyboard, change my brush shape. Oops, back to that circle one. So now if I wanna modify this, this mask, I can see this mask in here. And I just have a little bit in there because I didn't modify any of the color range, obviously. So I can just grab my um, perfect br or my brush and I can just brush that in to those areas that need it. Or I could have modified my color range, but we're past that step. So I'm just gonna brush this in which actually looks pretty decent like that. I can actually pull back. There we go, perfect. So now it's completely only applied to our foreground. Now if we view the photograph here, it's a little bit too, too bright. So let's go in here and let's go to our sky and let's pull up on the exposure of our sky so that we don't have these halos in here. I'm just gonna pull up on my exposure to my sky <clears throat> until it matches those halos. Maybe just like that. <clears throat> Sorry. And then I can go to my signature edits and I can modify this as well. So it probably needs a little bit of cooling down. Not that cool. Probably some contrast in here like that. And we'll pull up on our midtones. But you know, in just a few seconds, really um, with one mask taking away the sky, but there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. So if you don't want to use a color range gradient, which is um, a new feature inside Photo Raw, you could always just, I'll just reset this, and you could use the AI Quick Mask tool. So if I wanted to just mask it and have Photo Raw figure it out, I could just use the AI Quick Mask. I'm just gonna basically choose all of the areas that I don't want in my mask. So I'll just brush over all of this white like that and then I'll hold down option and I'll paint on all of the areas that I want to keep in my photograph. So I'll just hit apply. And there we go. Now the same basic thing and then if I hit done, it's going to remove the sky area and then it's going to reveal that bottom layer that we brought in to Photo Raw, just like that. So those are a couple different ways you can do it. Um, the color range gradients of pretty quick way if you don't want to um, have photo raw figured out for you but if you just want photo raw to figure it out for you the AI quick mask tool is a very powerful tool for doing things uh, like that so first things first we obviously need to bring out kind of these tonalities within our shot well we can always just use this AI auto button here and that's going to automatically develop all of these settings for us so just with one click 
we don't really have to do much to our photo now, but I wanna bring out some of those tonalities in my foreground and I also wanna enhance that sunset in the background. So let's just go into our effects tab here and I'll add some dynamic contrast to the foreground. And actually let's just use HDR look because then we can modify the shadows uh, kind of right here. So let's just do natural the way it is. And if I turn this off and on, it does a great job of boosting the details and the shadow tones within our foreground, but I don't want it to crunch up the sky at all. So let's hit M on our keyboard. I'm just gonna go to my shape. I'll choose gradient. I can drop this down. <clears throat> and I'm basically just going to hover the line right above where I want it to be applied. So now if I view this mask, I can see it's not, it's not selectively applied to anything, but we can always choose our color range here and I'll just drop it on this area within my foreground on the, on the sand. And now it's only applied to the foreground. So let's just modify our color range. We'll pull this back just like that. And then I can go in and fine tune. So if I really want to fine tune where this is applied, I can do that a lot more with this level slider. So I'm actually going to modify the levels slider here. Now, if you're familiar with using the level slider, it's an awesome tool for basically picking out specific tones in your shot to apply this mask to. So I want to remove some of these or add in some of these mid tones, but then I'm going to pull back on these highlights as well. Maybe I can remove some of those mid tones. There we go. So I'm basically trying to remove that top area from my shot. There we go. Pull back on the color range a little more. There we go. Cool. So now I can just remove this area right here from the, from the mask. And then if I want to add any, add in more of this foreground, I can just change my brush mode and that's painted in just like that. And this is super helpful for landscapes where you just want to modify a foreground or background element. So now if I view this and I turn this filter off and on, you can see it's strictly applied to that bottom area and in, it's not anywhere else on the scene. And I can always modify more of this. So let's just add in a little bit more clarity and I'll pull up on my shadows. Maybe add in some vibrance just so we can see what's going on. But yeah, in just a few seconds here, it's really boosting all of those tonalities within my foreground. Well, in Photo Raw 2021, we can actually copy and paste masks. So I'll copy this HDR look mask. <clears throat> I'll add another filter. Let's just add the color enhancer filter. I'll paste that mask. I'll invert it. And then I can start pulling up on the saturation. I'll maybe warm it up a little bit. Just like that. Now we have that mask that we can use to basically apply any adjustment we want to the sky. So I'll add on a local adjustment. I'll paste that mask again, invert it. And then I can modify, you know, the detail within those clouds quite a bit. So I'll just lower the opacity to make it look natural. Just like that. So if I turn this off and on now, it does a great job of just applying that adjustment to the sky. And we can always modify any of the, you know, the masking elements within here. So I see I have a little bit of a halo around here. So I can always just hold down shift, hit K, or hit K on my keyboard rather. And what I typically do with this is I'll just lower my opacity to about 25. And then I'll just brush this adjustment on to wherever it's a little bit haloed. And that seems to basically just remove those extra halo edges from the shot. Just like that. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you know, and not a lot of time really enhance both areas of this landscape selectively with those color range gradients. So super powerful tool for landscapes in photo raw, especially if you're modifying, you know, specific areas within photo raw.